Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to photograph Sonia, which is a giant prickly stick insect in my collection uh, from Australia. So the insect, I'm going to photograph it with a 50mm Canon lens, one of the cheapest lenses you can get on a Canon. A really nice lens for the price. And what we're going to do is to shoot in manual mode with the flash open, so I'm going to open pop up flash and the camera on. Okay, so I've got the camera on, it's set to 1, 2, 5 per second, 1, 1, 25 per second, shooting at F13, and it's in manual. So I'd advise our settings and make sure that the camera flash popped up and when you use that then the light will actually flash take the photo now what we're going to do is using this piece of polythene I'll just show you this on here I'm actually going to fold this or hold it over the flash so the flash is shooting through it and then I'm going to bend the end over so it bounces that light downwards onto the subject. So that's how we're going to work. Now this is how I take the shot. There we go. And holding our over the flash, bending this down. Focusing on the subject. And I've took my shot. And then I'll show you how to take the shot again. So this is shooting with the extension tube on by the way. So I've got the extension tube fitted on here with the 50mm lens. And that gets me really, really close. So I'm actually I'm not taking a shot of the whole insect. I'm taking a shot of his head. I'm going to take another one and what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take it up I'm going to take the aperture to f18 and that will do a number of things it will give me increased depth of field and what it will also do is darken the background a little bit more hopefully, so let's try it again Uh, if you wanted it a bit brighter, of course, you'd open up the aperture back to f16 or something like that. Let's try one of f16. And we'll use that technique again. So I'm on f16 there, one twenty-fifth of a second. And in front of the flash, use it. That's really nice. I thought it was coming out much better. Much like nicer light, darkish background, lots of detail. And what a cheap flash. <laughs> On board flash, piece of plastic. You can even use a piece of white card or paper. These, this is nice, it's like a packing, packing foam type thing you get with a lot of electrical items and filler type things and uh, it's nice because it's semi-translucent and that means when you put it in front of the flash you can diffuse the flash using this and also bend the light onto the subject if you didn't use this what would happen is the lens if you've got the flash up so if the flash is up, 
enough lashings to kind of grow forward. What happens is the lens stops the light hitting the subject and you get a big shadow at the bottom of your picture. And that is why we bend this over uh, so it bounces off that, it diffuses the light and, and it's the subject quite nice. Okay, so that's the cheap option of macro photography. And you get great results if you use these methods.